Okay. Yeah. So yesterday we had issue with uh, the theme we're trying to use. So uh, we had to stop and then uh, we are at it again today. All right. So, so um, during the course of the day, I was able to get this particular theme, um, this theme. All right. So um, this will be the second thing we'll work on. We'll try working on this theme. And then the first thing is that we we'll work with these templates. Remember, I said it yesterday that uh, you can either use a theme or an Elementor template. Having it in mind that we are designing our website with Elementor, <clears throat> um, with Elementor um, templates. All right. Yep. So um, I okay okay yeah. I just wanted to confirm that you can see my screen. Okay. So um. The first thing you do, go to plugins, um, add new, then, no, 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 search for, I'm not uploading this time around, so search for um, event tool. I used to mix up this spelling, invert tool. All right, install. After installing, activate. All right. So once you activate it, then you see this here, elements. All right. So click on elements. All right. So looking at this element section here, you see where it shows template kits. They are the premium kits and the free kits. All right. So um, if you want to use premium kits, then you will need to register or create an account. However, you can use free kits. Okay. For example, let's look at free kits. Um, search for photography, okay? So, um, that was a mistake there. All right, photography, okay. So you can see this, right? Let me preview. Okay, so this is home. Let me open this. And then, this is what we have, all right? So this is a photography website. The only thing is that the free templates might not be as beautiful or attractive as the premium templates, all right? You get that? So that is why, um, personally, I like to go for premium, okay? So that I, I will also have license to um, the uh, theme or templates that I'm using. All right. And then another advantage of subscribing is that you have access to photos. All right. So you have access to, uh, let's say you have a project you can use from over 1 million stock photographies that are on this particular platform. All right. And then you won't have any issue with plagiarism or copyright. All right. So uh, because you, you subscribed to the platform. Okay. So personally, I'm subscribed. I'll just connect this. Um, I get my token. So when you subscribe, you are redirected to the site of Evanto where you have to log in. So you copy your token and then come here, paste it, yep, verify, and then you're good. So you can see it here that my account has been connected, all right? So I go back to themes or templates, right? A search for photography, all right? So watch this, this is the difference now, all right? So the templates you see now will look more attractive than um, what um, you see with the free version all right so let's see the home page of this how it looks like so look at this so this is home all right uh the section here telling us story and concept style and makeup all right shooting just you know there are there are some extra creatives with this that you wouldn't find under the free template kits okay okay i believe this looks stunning all right I believe this looks stunning, all right. So, and then there are also other pages 
in heat that you can go for, all right? So remember I told us about 404 page. That's if a page is not found, then you can be redirected to the home page, all right? Then uh, coming soon, we usually use this when we are working on a site and then we don't want this stuff to see it yet, all right? So we just posted there that this site is coming soon. Um, check back on so so day. That's after this countdown, all right? Depending on how long the project will last for, okay? So we do that, all right? So today I'm going to, with this photography site, do two things. I'll work on a one page site, then I'll also work on a multi page site. So I'll just try to set up something quickly, and then so that um we we have an heads up to um how you can work with it. Okay, so um let me reduce this, close this, um close this, come back here. Okay, do I have to close this? Um, I don't want to close this yet, but I'll still use it. All right, so let me make it bigger again. All right, so uh, what you now do is install the kits. After installing the kits, um, view the kits. All right, so this is what you have. Okay, so these are all the pages of the site one you have the global kit styles you have the header the footer all right the header is what we have at the top of the website where you have your logo or your site name your menu and then whatever all right the footer is what is beneath all the pages of the site all right so we have home page archive page this for blog posts all right we have um for single posts that's for the blog section of your site we have search page, 404 page, single page, archive, product. Okay, this also works for um, store. That means your website, you have a store. Okay, gallery, services, about us, um, pricing table, team members, and the likes. All right. So, however, before we start importing these pages, okay, you need to pay attention. To, so, it's telling us that there are five requirements that are needed that needs installing for this template kit to work properly well. So let's install the five plugins. So um, Elementor Pro is paid for, I told us before, right? So however, the remaining ones, you can get it for free. So I will install this. I have this already, okay? So I will install it manually myself after now. But let me finish installing the other ones. Okay, so all that ones have been installed, and then it's telling me that I have one more requirement. So what I'll do is I'll go to plugins. Um, I'll go to plugins. Uh, now. Go to plugins. Okay, add new plugin. Upload plugin, choose file. All right. So I want to come here. So it's installing now. You can see here it's loading. All right, activate plugin. All right, so I have my plugin, Elementor Pro, um, installed. Okay, so let me go back to this page, refresh, and see if uh, that will still show. Okay, so you can see that the notice is not showing again. The next thing you now have to do is import all of them one after the other. So I've just imported this. You import the header, import the footer. Yep. So import the home page.
I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm waiting for it to finish importing. So we import all the pages we want to design with the templates one after the other. All right, uh, we'll have a blog page. So I'll import this also, archive page on uh, the single post page. All right, search page, I'll import it. Single page, 404 page, all right. Um, coming soon page, I will need that. I will need products, then about us page. Um, I, I I hope you can all hear me. So please, I want to beg us to give me like five minutes, uh, ten minutes max. I um let me. All right. So we can see that our templates have been um imported. All right. So we've imported all this. Um, uh, imported this. I'm not importing this because I don't need a store on the sites. I can just import it, right? But I don't need to store on the sites, okay? So I've imported all these team members. I don't need a page for it, but let me just import so that you see how it looks like. All right, since we are practicing, okay? Um, yep, the last one, hi. Okay, so all have now been imported, all right? So um, the next thing uh, you want to do is that you go to, on the menu here, go to elements, uh, sorry, go to templates, all right, and then locate team builder, all right. Go to templates and then locate team builder. You open that page uh, and then, um, okay. Okay, um, so you come here, uh, go to header, and then um, edit. Okay, um, yeah. So we are importing from this. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it means I've been imported already. All right. So you just need to. updates we 
we update all right so um i'll go back to this place all right then i'll create menu remember i told us the first day that you create menu under appearance right so i create menu and then i'll call my menu um main menu main menu all right then um create okay so uh before i go ahead let me check my uh our content that we created yesterday all right uh the pages we have are home about us services portfolio contact us and blog so where's our menu uh no 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 come here come here so here yeah. so i'll use this for now um boom right so for now i'm using hashtag as um the link of the menu about us what was the next about us um services right services portfolio services um portfolio portfolio or gallery right uh blog blog and then we have contacts okay you can edit the names here so instead of using about us i can just use about so this is the menu bar that I want to use, right? So I save, then I come back to where I'm editing the menu. Um, I'll refresh this page because I just did that. Um, okay, so as you can see, that's been updated, all right? So I need a logo for my photography business. So it means that let me try to design something small as logo for my photography business, right? Um, I want to do something here. Okay. Um, I'll open PowerPoint right then um i want you i want you to see what i'm doing all right so I hope you can see my um, my screen, okay? So I will just design something like um, um that looks like come. So. Okay, um, 
So I use the um, PowerPoint to do some small designs, right? I'm sure that some of us can just do something with this too. Okay. Um, uh, I'm coming. Inspired. Let's assume that this is my logo, all right? I will do this twice. I'm coming to start. Um, remember, I'm a, graph, I'm a web designer, not a graphic designer, but I'm just trying to do something quick so that um, just to represent what we are working on. Um, so you save as a picture, then, okay. Tulu, so CP, Tulu Photography, logo, black, right? So another thing is that you want to save as uh, a shade of black and like double colors, right? 
So I'll go to photos. I saved it pictures folder. I'll drag it here. Okay, this is it. Then I check. Picture format, color, or something brighter. Okay. Then, or maybe I remove that stuff at the background. Let us still. And spirit as white. All right. Okay. So I have the two logos there. And then there's something we usually uh, do that's fab. I'll come back to that later. So now that I have um, the two logos that I'll be working with. Let me get back to all right, share. Okay, so I hope you can see this screen now. So I will edit this logo. So now look at this background. This is a dark background. So I'll need a white logo, all right? So change site logo. I'll come here, site logo, this is it. Choose an image. Uh, let me come back here and drop both, okay? Then white, yep. Then um, choose image for five. Let me choose this, okay. And then um, so our date. Right, then um, close this. So I hope you can see my logo now. So the top of my site is um, sorted with, yeah, you can change your address. Can someone give us a sample address to use? Um, so here, uh, this is where you change your phone number. So now 
whatever it is you are seeing here, this is where we change it, all right? Remember when I was editing logo, this was where I changed it, right? So now if I want to change any of this, all right, this is where I change it. For example, um, address, I want to change the address to um, 425 Lagos uh, Island. Lagos, Nigeria, okay? So you can see that whatever it is I typed here, is showing here, all right? Then for this, this email, all right? So I want to say that email me at info at Tulu for so graphy.com, even though the email does not exist, right? Then phone number, I want to leave the phone number at this, all right? So these are, then uh, social media integration. When you click on this edit button, this pencil icon, you are able to now integrate the logo, the URL, the link to your social media profile. So here you put your Facebook page, here you put your Twitter, here you put your uh, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, all right? So if you want to add more, okay, you can just, and you can rearrange them. What do I mean? Rearrange this way. So I want to add something else. Just come here and then go to icon library. Let's say, for example, I want to add um, another social media profile. Which other social media profile do we have? Okay, yeah, I want to add my WhatsApp number, for example, so that people can chat me up directly on WhatsApp, all right? So you can just put the link here, not the number. Remember, if you want people to chat you up on WhatsApp, you do something like HTTPS, uh, forward slash, forward slash, um, wa dot me slash, your number, 2348045. You understand? You just put your number and then that's how you are able to allow people to chat you up on WhatsApp. Okay? So you can as well do that. All right. So um, save, and then you can see that the WhatsApp icon is now appearing there. If I want my WhatsApp to be the first thing they will see, then I move it to the top, okay? So you can just arrange. Now, when it comes to designing, creativity matters, all right? It's creativity that matters a lot, all right? So I'm sorted with my um, header, excuse me, I'm sorted with my header. Now I'll go to the footer. Right, um, let me come back here. How did I get there the other time? Remember, you go to elements, you go to, sorry, you go to um, templates, you go to templates, then team builder, all right? And then you're able to edit your, the sections of your site. All right, so header is sorted. Now I want to work on my footer. Okay, so footer, come here. So footer, this is the footer of my site. Remember the header is sorted already. So this is the footer of my site. And then my logo is already there, All right? So now let me go to the my content, okay? Um, do I want newsletter to be here? I think I don't need this section. So I'm not sending out newsletters. I'll delete that. Uh, for this one, so I don't want gallery here. I'll delete that. So I'll just leave this here. Then for this uh, image resolution, I want to make it smaller. OK? Uh, let me see. No, um, smaller. All right. And then I want to write something, just a caption about uh oh, control z control z coming okay so let me only delete thing to be more beautiful this way um i only delete the content in the uh 
only dealing contents on that. So um, you need and then for this I'll delete this. All right. So I want okay. And for this other side, so I just to twenty. Twenty. Okay. For this one, I'll make it reduce the size. Okay. So here I cannot have my contact details. Uh, remember the address we used at the top there was what four to five Lagos Island, Lagos, Nigeria. Okay, so I'll come here. Um four to five. Lagos Island, um, Lagos State, Nigeria. Okay, our uh, phone number. Remember, I told us you can always change it here. Then email. Okay. Um. So phone number. Let's say we use plus two three four eight zero one two three four five six seven. Okay. Um, it's yeah, so that's our phone number, all right. And then email, I said I'll use info at um Tulu photo dot com, all right. Um, so that's that for this one at the base of the site. I want to use what's this year 2024. So uh, the name of your site is what you put here. So low photography. All right, all right, reserved. Then there's one thing that I usually do so that I credit the design to myself. Designed by you can now say Ulu Craig. Okay. Um, who stop um, then where you do that, I want to link it to my site. So select the Tolu Craig, go to link, all right, type in the link of the site you want to direct it to, okay, tolucraig.com, okay. Then I want to say that open in a new tab. Why am I selecting this? So that whenever anyone clicks on it, it doesn't close website page of your client. You just want a new tab, a separate tab to open to show your own website, not that you are that you are closing the website of your clients, all right? So add the link. Once I had that, you can see that this place will be underlined and then when you select it, you see the link there. And then you also see that the color here has changed because the link has been applied, all right? So, um, usually you can just preview what you have done so far. Okay, preview. This means preview, all right? So preview, see how it looks like. So this is how your, no, let me, let me update it first. Let me update it first. Okay, now that I've updated it, let me preview. So this is how it looks like. But come to think of it, I don't like what is here, okay? So I'm not creating any page for terms and condition and privacy policy. If I want to, I will, but as it is, I'm not creating any page, okay? So I will just come back here. Um, Select this, okay? Since I don't need it, I'll just delete. Select and delete, all right? Then don't forget here, you also change the links of your social media handles, all right? Anyone that is not there. For example, you don't have a Pinterest account, close it, close it, all right? Then you had other ones that you have, okay? 
when you are done, don't forget to update. This is where you update. Whatever you don't update yet will not show at the front end of your site. All right. So um, that's that. So I'm done with the footer and I'm done with the header. All right. Um, another thing that you want to look at, okay. So for your single post, uh, this is there already. Uh, for single page, is there already? For archive post, is there already? Search results, is there already? Um, single product, we've imported already. Um, archive products, is there already? For, for error page, is there already? All right, so we are good. I can close this and then start creating my pages one after the other. All right. So the first thing I usually do, all right, so that I know that at least I'm um, an hedge, right, is okay. Let's say, for example, I want to start with that um, coming soon page so that whenever anyone checks my site, they see that work is going on. Okay. So let's say, for example, as it is, if anyone tries to visit my site, the my website URL link is what? Um, um, Tolu.digitalschool.ng, right? Um, so, digitalschool.ng. So, this is what they see, all right? Because this is the archive page. This is what they see, okay? Um, so, I, want, I don't want them to see this. I want them to see coming soon. This page is under construction. It is coming soon, okay? So go to the dashboard, go to page, add new page, or you come here and locate page and add new page. You can do that from either way, right? All right. So I'll close this. Then title of the page, I'll just put coming soon. Let me put it in caps, coming soon, okay? And then I'll publish it straight up, straight up, then edit with Elementor. If you open the Elementor page builder for me, okay, for this particular page, all right? So for coming soon pages, usually eh, we don't have any menu. You don't want them to see anything at all. All right, so because I don't want them to see anything at all, I'll come to um, I'll come to my page settings. All right, come here, um, page layout, select Elementor Canvas, Elementor Canvas. So it shows all the additional distance, like the header, the footer, everything disappears, the menu, everything disappears. So I'll come to uh, Evanto Element, right? Uh, and then you see my installed kits, view installed kits. I'll locate coming soon. Coming soon. Um, where is it? Where is it? Oh. I thought I, okay, yeah, so this is coming soon. So import, import, voila, yep. So here it is. So this is my coming soon page, all right? Um, as it is, I want to reduce the size of this, my logo to this, okay? Um, then come here, don't forget to change your details. So, as I told us before, right, you, since you, the first thing you do, which will take most of the time is to look for a theme or template that is very attractive and then aligns with what your clients want, okay? Then you start editing. 
once you get the theme right, you've installed, your work is pretty um, easier now, right? So Lagos State, Nigeria, okay? Then don't forget to change the link of your social media um, this thing so that while you are designing, anyone who visits the website can still link up with the social media platform of your client. So uh, we are coming soon. Do you want to change it to something else? Something awesome is in the works. Um, so you can just add something like check back for updates, all right? So because this is um, HTML, that's why it's not showing that, but you can always um, break that, okay? Uh, with simple HTML code, but it will do be necessary, right? So um, now I want to change the date and the time, okay? So this one is just showing, so I can just change it to a due date. So this site will be ready by when, 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 when? Let's say by Friday, um, what time on Friday? 12, 12 noon on Friday, okay? Zero, zero. Then I select that. No, 2024. Um, 2024. Um, what month is this February, okay? So Friday, that time. Let me extend it to Saturday so that you see that this will also change, okay? And then that's it. So it means that we have um, a countdown. Then this will ask you, actions after this timer expires, okay? So you want it to hide, you want it to show a message or you want it to redirect to the home page of the site, all right? So you just put the home page of the site there, okay? That's to look dot digital um, scroll.com, no, dot ng. So I want it to redirect there, okay? So that's, that's that. Um, now, let me preview and see how it looks like. So this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like, all right? I want to remove this page so that there won't be this particular line so that they won't have to scroll, okay? So I'll come back here, uh, click on this, and then um, delete all this, all right? Um, then update, okay, and then preview. All right, so this is what it looks like. Um, so, however, if you still check the link and you refresh it, what will you see? This is what you will still see, okay? But because I want, remember yesterday I did this, because I want it to show at the, uh, what is it called? I want this coming soon page to show. So what do I do? I'll go to se um, settings, reading, right? Uh, change this to static home page coming soon, all right? And then for this, none, all right? So I'll save changes. After saving changes, now let me go back. See, this is the main directory of my site, right? So let me refresh. This is what anyone sees, okay? So this is how to set coming soon page. That whoever visits the site, we just see a countdown and then nothing else, okay? All right, so um, that's it. That's it, that's it for that. So now let me start with our pages one after the other. I've just said this at the front end so that nobody that tries to visit to see the work I'm doing, okay? Um, 
And then this is what you show your client once you've started work that, okay, work has started. In so, so this, the work we completed, all right? So let me go back. We have how many pages to set up now? Um, let me now go and create another page. Take this to dashboard, come here. Um, um, I'm done with this, all right? I'm done with this, okay? Uh, let me just close the tabs that I'm done with. I'm done with this, okay? So here, I'll go to page posts, pages, okay? Um, I want to create home page. But let me start with contact. So I'll start with contact page, right? Uh, publish. Um, maybe I just create everything uh, once and for all. Okay. I'm coming slash contact. I've just created contact page. So I'm coming. Oh, okay. So this is it. Um, before I go ahead, let me go to settings. Um, then, sorry. Permalinks, permalinks, permalinks. Okay. Then I use post name. Okay. And then save changes. All right. So let me go back. Where is that page that I created now? Okay. So refresh. Then this is the URL now. Okay. So let me refresh this. All right. So contacts. I'm trying to open this. I just tried to open this so that I'll see how many pages I still want to create. So um, the other one is for blog, portfolio, services, about, and um that okay we can't see my screen you can't see my screen can you still see it now or you can't still see my screen i just saw your message please respond can you see my screen I need it. I need the response, please. Can you see my screen? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, um, I just created contact page. Um, uh, which other page am I creating? Um, I'll create blog page. I'll create a blog page. Blog page. Okay. Close. Uh, which other page again? Uh, where is it? I'll create portfolio services about and home. Portfolio. Portfolio.
services 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 about and home page home page all right so let me refresh this okay so i'm sure you'll be able to now see all the pages that are created uh home blog coming soon contact oh okay home portfolio then services all right so i'll start designing them one after the other good i have a template all right so go to edit when you get to the edit section um edit with elementor okay and it takes you to the page builder the elementor page builder all right, and then um, yep, yep. Um, contact. So what you need to do first, go to settings. All right, change from default. Remember that the other time when we wanted to set up the coming soon page, we used Elementor Canvas. That's because we don't want the header and the footer to show. All right, but this time around, we are not doing Canvas. So you go to Elementor full width, okay? All right, so this is what shows. So the header is showing and the footer is showing. This will show on all the sides. So let's now import the content of um, the template that we designed for the contact page. Where is the contact? Contact, 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 all right. So contact us, voila. So you have contact us here. We have the form to be filled here. All right. So address, we said our address is what? 425 Lagos Island, Lagos, Nigeria. So this is where you see edit the content, whatever content that you want to edit here, this is where you edit it, all right? So 425 um, Lagos Island, Lagos, Nigeria. Okay. Uh, we said for the email, uh, I'm using info at Ulu Photography dot com. All right. Um, phone number. So I'll just use 348012345678. All right. And then that's it. Yeah, I want to change a little context here. Get in touch, contact us. Now let me go to our content that we developed. All right, using ChatGPT. Contact page, what is there? So ready to book your session or have questions. So, so this. So yeah, I'll just come here. Um, go back to the page I'm editing and then push. Okay, um, let me go back. Uh, let's create memories together. And then I'll go back here. Um, Okay, um, and then that, for the form, you want to confirm uh, actions after so what submit. So it's collect submission, then it sends email, right? Um, the email, this is where whatever form they fill, this is where it will go to. So you want to put your own email address or the email address of the client so that you know where it will go to. 
All right. Uh, don't forget this whenever you set up a form on any site. We want to put the email address where you want whatever they feel to go to so that you'll be able to follow up with their messages, right? Then for this map, how do you edit the map so that it shows where you are? Simple. Just click on this edit icon here. And then my network. Okay, and then type Lagos State. Just type Lagos State, Nigeria. Or you type your address as long as it is on Google Map. As long as it is on Google Map, it will come out. Okay, so you can see it. I just showed me Lagos, Nigeria. All right, so depending wherever you want to type, you type it there and then to show on the map section here. So we are good to go. Um, what else? Contact us, yeah. Except you want to change um, the picture that is here, that is at the background. So um, how do you change that picture that is at the background? Okay. Um, so that you come here and then you change the picture here. So let's say, for example, I want to change the picture to um, this is the picture that was there before. Let's take notes. Okay, you want to change the picture to something else, just come here and select. So remember, I said we uploaded Evanto two elements, right? So let's say I want to change the picture to this one now. Okay, just import. You import, and then you can see that the picture is now have been changed at the background. All right, so that's how to change picture. So if you want to upload a picture from your system, what do you do? You come to upload file, um, drag and drop the picture here, or you select file and go and upload from wherever file the picture is. You get that? All right, so that's that. Um, but let me revert back to the picture that was there before. Okay, yep. So we are done with our contact page. Um, for this footer, I think I want to edit this footer. Oh, save. So I've just saved our contact page so that I don't lose what is there. All right. So I think I want to edit this footer. All right. Uh, this lorem ipsum that is here, I want to change it to something that relates to the look photography. All right. So let's go to our content. I need a little write up about Ulu photography. Um, coming. Uh, I can, I'll just come here. Um, yep. So, yeah, and then I post. So, whenever anyone checks, they just see that to look photography, we go beyond capturing images. We create virtual narratives. Our collaborative approach ensures your vision is brought to life in every frame, right? Okay. So, after that, I update. Okay. And then um, good to go. Okay. Uh, yep. Then let me preview what I have. So this is what I have now. This is what I have now. Now, let's see how this looks like on a mobile device. Okay. So I've just created contact page. Let me see how it looks like on a mobile device. So come to responsive. On a tab, this is how it looks like. Let me just leave it for now. So this is how it looks like on a tab. Okay. 
the on a mobile phone, uh, the smartphone, this is how it looks like. So to me, it adjusts well. I think I like it. All right, so I'm good to go. So if you check your phone now, uh, just set for this link. So, so I'm, I'm putting the link in the chat box section now. Um, Tolu.digitalschool.ng slash contact. Can we check it? How does it look like on your phone? Check it and send it to us. Can you check it and send it to us? So someone is saying on the WhatsApp group that something is not connecting. I don't know. All right, so this is what we have. This is what we have. I've just checked with my phone and then I think it is showing well, all right? So uh, before we wrap up tonight, you know, what I'll do is that I will install the template for the other pages, then I'll do the remaining customizations later. Then I'll leave us to go and, by the time I'm done with the customization, I'll share the link on, the, on our group, okay? Then from our hand, uh, what I expect us to do is that with our subdomains that we have, um, that you have to practice with, okay? Um, install that Evanto plugin, all right? Don't forget, install Evanto plugin and then use a free template that is on it to design your own, um, to start your own website design, all right? Um, and then that will be it. By Monday, we carry on with, by Monday, 9 p.m., we continue our session, all right? But let me just quickly set up the other pages. Thank you, Peter. All right, I've just seen your screenshot. Thank you. All right, so um, so let me go, go ahead. I'll just quickly install the templates for the other pages before we wrap up for tonight. So I think we are done with contact page now, okay? Let's go to block page, um, edit, yep. Okay. Edit with Elementor. I want to stop this class by 10.30. It's almost one hour, 30 minutes, okay. So for the blog page, what you will uh, know before this, don't forget, go to settings, go to settings, <clears throat> elemental full width, okay? Yeah, then come here, view installed kits, then look for archive post. So this is it here, insert templates, Insert templates, all right. So because there's no blog post yet, that is why nothing is showing here, all right. So um, then here, you can put your picture as the photographer, all right. And then write a little about yourself, okay. So let me come here. Um, Meet Tolu, founder and lead photographer, okay? Um, then come here. So let's edit this section. Um, I think I should have a picture of myself. 
to come in um, here. Okay, so I've just put a picture of myself. Uh, for the name, I put my name here. Great. Then that right up, I put it here. All right. And then social media. Remember, I told us how to change all this. Then here, you can now put your own personal social media links, right? Okay. So I'm sure we'll be able to navigate through all this. To edit this too is quite straightforward. You just click on it, click on it, and then you change the link here to the social media link of your web, of your company, of your client's business, all right? Instead of our proprietor, let me just stick strictly to what I have here. So you can just say meet Ulu, okay? Or our founder or whatever, okay? So that's that. So by the time we start uploading posts, it shows here. Okay. So here is um, so the title will show here and then we're good to go. Let me save this. Save this and then let me preview. So it's showing page blog. I don't want this page to show. How do I remove this page from there? Please, can you post the class for yesterday and today on your YouTube channel so that we can refresh our knowledge and practice and things? Okay. Um, I'll get back to us on that. Okay, so um, let me get back to the editing tab, right? Um, include advanced include text no right so um and then um let me preview again and see what it shows okay so that has been removed from there and then this is what we have next all right so blog this 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 Okay, and then voila. Um, then I go ahead to do what I update. Okay. Yeah, so I've just updated that. So I'm done with contacts page. I'm done with blog page. Okay. So other pages, I will continue in our next class. All right, I'll continue in our next class. This is already 9.28. I'll answer our questions and then we'll get to go. But for the pages that I've just done now, now if you go to this uh, contact page, now when I hover my mouse on this contact, what shows here is hashtag because, because um, what shows down here is hashtag. It won't direct me anywhere because when I was setting up the menu, it was just hashtag I use for all of them. All right. So what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? So um, quickly, I'll go back to menu page. That's appearance, menu. When you go to menu, now that these pages have been created and completed. So I'll add contact and blog that we've completed. Okay. So uh, you will notice a difference. Here yeah, is just a custom link. And what's the link? Hashtag, right? For this other contact to contact page, it's just a custom link. And what is it? Hashtag, right? But if you look at this guy here, contact, it is not a custom link. This custom link, this is an Elementor page. So it means a page that I designed with Elementor, all right? So for this one that is custom link block, what do I do? I remove it. For this other one, so what do I do? I remove it. Then I save. All right, I save. After saving, 
I'll come back here and then uh, click on the link. So you'll notice that the link of this contact changed, the color changed compared to these white ones, okay? Because I am on this page. If I click on this, the block page too will open, okay? But other ones will not open because they are custom links and then they are just hashtags, all right? So I'll go back to contact, all right? So I will share on our group tonight, as you have said, I will, as soon as I end this now, um, I will start uploading the class for yesterday. Then I hope that this class for today, it's finished extracting on time so that I'm also able to upload it tonight. Then I'll also share the link to what we have done. So I'll share the link to the main directory that nobody will see, where what they will see will just be coming soon. Then I'll also share uh, link to the contact page to so that you're able to see and then probably navigate through what we have started today. All right. So um, thank you very much for so I hope you've learned something. Do you have anyone with questions? Can you unmute and then ask your questions if you have anyone with questions? It's been a long day. Do you have anyone with questions? Anyone with questions? All right. So in the absence of any question, call it a night. Um, so our next class will be on Monday, as I had said. Um, see you and God bless you.